Hello, how are we all doing? It's Monday. What pick picking and packing can words out Jack. Um so we'll do a video about that today, but first I'm going to do some admin stuff on my computer, editing self similar and respond to messages and that type of stuff, and then we'll get to that. But I'll see you over there. A few moments later. And we're over here. I've just had, well, not thought, but I've just been thinking previously. Someone mentioned, why am I using cardboard boxes um, when I could use plastic boxes? And it got me thinking, because, like, these cardboard boxes, they will deform. And it does get a bit humid in here, and the cardboard will degrade over time. So I've been looking online for plastic solutions, which someone mentioned. And I probably will transfer over to it. I've seen, like... Um, really useful boxes have a 22 litre, it comes out to 7 centimetres, so it'll be out to like the, but I could pull the shelf out and have it bit sticking out the back, bit sticking out the front, and it'll fit 40 games per box. Um, they're a bit expensive, they cost about £15 per box, but I feel like it'd be a worthwhile event investment in the future. Obviously, I won't do it now with my current previous video, but it's just something to think about in the future. I probably will slowly transfer into doing something like that. Unless, I don't know, and I know Kieran Rummage Around had wallpaper boxes from being cute, but I don't think they'd do anything. Wallpaper roll boxes um, from being cute, but I don't think they'd do it anymore. So, if anyone's got any ideas of what I should replace these boxes for with plastic ones, that's cheaper than £15 for about 40 games, let me know. Anyways. So, today we've got um, 64 orders for £1,300. This is since Saturday because I did post it on Saturday. Order by SKU as normal. Let's get going. So, first game in 30 at max. Did you hear? And put them down here. I really need to get this trolley, but I can't wait. In triple five. Colin McRae. Oh, that Mad Max sold for £9. Right, 555 down here. In between these two numbers. So, be here. Colin McRae. And I'll just pull that game on top of it. Yep, Colin McRae, 2005, sold for £7.50. Next game, 654. We have sold um, Wii Sports, 654. Should be this box. There we go. Wii Sports, cardboard sleeve, sold for £11. Now, next one, um, I've got to say thank you to Andy um, because he bought my first ever subscriber sale. Um, he bought Bioshock 1 and 2 and Dead Space 1 and 2. Over 360. Shipped off to you today. Thank you very much, Andy. First subscriber sale. I was, I was buzzing about that because I was telling about the group chat and that I'm in. Right, next one. Mario Sonic 907. There we go. Mario Sonic Olympic Games. Sold for £6. 923. Epic Mickey. PS3. Sold for £9. Next one. Let's go down. 943. Should be a Lego Ninjago. It is. Shadow of Ronin. Sold for £9. 1001 down here. Assassin's Creed Rogue. I want to play this. It's one of the few Assassin's Creed games I've not played. It's when I kind of stopped playing them, um, but sold for £5. £5.30. Next one, 1110. Should be Grand Theft Auto. Lots of them in here. As you see, I've got two different listings for them. This one will be slightly different to this, maybe missing a map or a manual. But as long as the number differently, it's all fine. Being next to each other. So for £8 pound that, if I didn't say. Next one, 1161. 1161. See it here. Batman Arkham City and Asylum. Well, I'm not sure it is. It didn't look, I just looked at a number. Yes, it is. Sold for £7. 1185 should be a PS1 game. Buster move. 
Yep. They also separate conditions on PS1 games if you've got a crack like that, so I'll sell it a bit cheaper. That sold for £4.50. And there's another thing to mention, um, PS1 cases, even if there's no game, a mint case sells for about £8, so if you're selling a game for less than that, it's got a good case, I'd probably swap the case out. <laughs> and that's what I do. 1198, FIFA Street 3. 1198, where are you? Should be here. There we go. FIFA Street. Whoops. Sorry, buyer. Hope you're not a subscriber. Um, sold for four pounds. Sorry, Benjamin. <laughs> One thousand two hundred. Du -du 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 -du. In this box again. Final Fantasy fourteen and Realm Reborn. Sold for. I scrolled past it. Four pound fifty. One, two, six, five. There it is. The Lego Harry Potter collection for Xbox One. Sold for £13. One, three, eight, six. Du, 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 du. Where are we looking? There we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sold for £5.70. Oh, it's nearly fallen. One four two eight. Uh, where are we? Tom Clancy, Shadow War. Shadow Wars. Sold for five pounds seventy. One four four two. Should be a WWE game. It's not there, so it's onto the next shelf down here. There we go. Stick it out at me. I can't reach it. Ah, uh, there we go. WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2010 sold for £6. 1562 Tournament Legends. 1562, I assume it's in this box. Ah, there it is. Can you get back on there? there you go. Tournament Legends for the Wii. Interesting looking game. Sold for, I forgot past it, £7. Another bundle game, always selling my games in bundles of two. One six I can't remember what it was, one six seven one I think. Yeah. Halo Reach and Halo 3 ODST. Bit of an odd pairing because I'd put Halo 3 with but it's just adding variation. Um because I've got so many of these Halos. Sold for seven pounds. Another bundle. A need for speed one. One seven zero two. It's in here, I think. Yeah. I never played. That's the one New Speed game I've not played from the early years. New Speed Most Wanted. But Pro Street, oh, that is a banger. New Speed Pro Street, really good game. Not like the top of typical New Speeds, but very enjoyable. 1737. This is a game I played as a kid and I could never complete it. Because that was bad at puzzles as a kid. It was a puzzle game. Naughty Bear. Sold for £9.60. Extermination. 1759. The one with the weird shiny cover. There it is. Weird shiny corner cover, as you see. Bit of a shooter up game. Sold for £12. And I sell my American games as well. 1793, don't discount American games. You might get a little bit less, sometimes you get a little bit more, but they still sell. Test Drive 2 Unlimited. No, Test Drive Unlimited 2. I played that as a kid, that was a very good game. I like my racing games, as you can tell. 1794, oh, the one right after it. There it is. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero Phantom Pain. I was talking to my friend the other day about this game because it was literally like a demo to the main game and I bought it as a kid. And if my mum paid full price for this game, it was an absolute scam for how short it was. I, I don't know how much it would cost as new, but it's all for £7.50. 1800 for Viva Piñata. Do it in here. 
I've always an interesting looking game. Never played it though. Sold for eight pounds. And onto some classics. Okay, I've seen. 1803, 1804. Efficiency. Obviously when I get my cart, I'll be like not going back and forth. I'll be down here with my laptop. But in the future. So Iron Man 2 and Black Ops. Black Ops sold for £7.50. Iron Man 2 sold for no it didn't because it's combined with another order. And um, don't know how much that sold for, but I'm gonna say seven pounds. Because the other one is two zero one, which is a Lego Pirates bundle. I can't do this with one hand. There we go. Using my knee to stabilize the box. And it's slowly falling. There we go. Pirates of the Caribbean and World's End Pirates of the Caribbean. So, well, I assume that's five pounds and the other one's seven, but could be slightly different. One eight one two, a banger. God of War. Got this for fifty p at the car boot. It'll be in this box. Got it. Oh, God. I remember getting this recently. Another person put it down, and then I picked it up for fifty p. Eighteen pounds. It's not. Well, it is what you know, but it is also who you know. And um, one eight two four. Uh, got this off a subscriber recently and paid him for a bunch of games. It's in that box. Always paying up for games and subscribers, giving them a fair deal. But Vice City Stories sold for thirty pounds. One nine four seven should be Call of Duty. There is no one nine four seven, is there? And it must be in the oh, I've got box up there. One nine five one as well. These are the boxes that time. Currently waiting for this to be cleaned, but the disc machine's off. One nine four seven and one nine five one. This is what I did last Friday, but I don't generally work on the weekends, so they've been sat there. GTA five and Call of Duty World at War. World at War World War Two sold for ten pounds. GTA five sold for thirteen. Any more from there? One more. One nine seven two. I don't know if this has been discleaned or not. Let's find out about it. Nope, but I will throw it to the disc cleaner while I'm packing. Put it up there. Sold for £22. Good game. Right, into the stuff that's wrongly skewed. Well, not wrongly, but wrong format. But 207. Um, Skewers Busters sold for £12. 233. Three. Conan. Sold for seven pounds. Three six one in this box. Tony Hawk Underground Two. Oh god, sold for six pound eighty. I used to play. I didn't play this one, but I used to play Project Eight and that type of game for Tony Hawk when I was a kid. And something from a very early video of mine. 378. Oh god. One of my first videos, same where I get all my stock from, for this. Um, for, I can't remember, I think I bought it for £20, I think. Sold for £38. And we're on to the bigger stuff. So we've got a PS3, so let's go get that in a box. Be down here. Mind all the rabble, because my daughter built a fortress the other day. Not fix that up, but PS3 down here. There we go. Boxed. I think there's some games inside of it. I can't remember what the games will be. All bundle fodder. Sold for £90. Next one. Some consignment deals. Um, A5 for a Pentax K1000. Body only. Give me a minute. And here we go, body only of a Pentax K1000, sold for £25. I will split that 50-50 after fees and postage with James Collects, or Flipping James, however you want to be known now. Next is a switch charging stand. Oh, is there anything else in this box? Yes, there is. 
switch charging dock, switch Joy-Con holder, and an Olymp Optima 535. Let's look for all them. Okay, so we got all those things. Switch charging dock, sold for £11. Switch, no, that's a switch, Joy-Con holder. Switch charging dock, um, charges your Pro Controller and your Joy-Cons for £16. And Optima film camera, in its case, for £35. On to the next one. B6, we've got a, anything else on B6? An Olympus Mew, oh, Bolo. Bolo. B6 should be a wired 360 controller, sold for £28. If you look out for the wired ones, um, they sell for more because you can natively link them up with computers, which people like. And Olympus, are you a Mew one? Mm, no, it's that one. This is all my own money, um, because my friend came to me after I started making videos with cameras and said, do you want these? So I said, yes. So Olympus Mew for £80 and then that for £28, like I said. Uh, B8, we've got two more cameras, an expensive one, two expensive ones really. Let me pull this out because it's going to be hard. This swanky looking camera. I don't know if this is swanky looking or not, I'm not really a camera person. Um, sold for £100. Not bad. And then this little thing. Looks like a going to be a compact um, disc player or something, but nope, it's a little camera by Polaroid. Sold for fifty pounds. Who would have guessed? Next two cameras to come out of the James Collects Fun Stash: um, a Canon. Oh, don't mind that. A Canon EOS 300X, um, body only, with a really sticky grip yeah. for forty-four pounds. And the one that just decided to take a trip, look it's in its case, um, a Ryko XR2S, not going to get it out, but sold for £20. Right, next one, more cameras, oh we love cameras here don't we? Two cameras, um, I'm just going to show them like this because I, it's not fun looking through these on camera. Um, so, a nice Ashai Pentax SV. Body only for £33. It's a good thing my girlfriend knows what she's talking about because I don't. <laughs> and a Pentax Zoom 90 WR. Sold for £32. There we go. Right. I really like a gaming seller, don't I? C21 Gaming. Power supply. Let's find a power supply. Let's make myself feel good about gaming. There we go. Official Xbox One power supply, sold for £20. And back to non-gaming. Um, a Nerf, well, this is when I was obsessed, I'm still, I still like picking up Nerf stuff. Um, Nerf drum, sold for £18. Uh, there's a few things I'll step outside with gaming. Obviously, this camera stuff I wouldn't normally, but it's come to me free with consignment deal. But like, Nerf stuff, I can have my girlfriend with it, it's fun. Um, an amiibo, a shulk amiibo. Had this for quite a time, and it's in a big box and a small item. Almost a shulk. Um, if you don't know what amiibo is, you can use it on certain games and bring this character into the game. So cool. Missing a hand, but doesn't affect functionality. Sold for fifteen pounds. Had that for ages. Oh, back into the same box. A Skylander, brand new. Let's see if I find that. I'm pretty sure I just looked at that. Yeah. I think it's this one. Let's just double check. Hurricane Jetpack, yes. Brand new and steel Skylander figure sold for £9.70. More gaming. Ooh, I feel like I feel the buzz of gaming. C4. Sorry for that quick swap. Little. Oh, that one's a bit damaged. Have we got another one? Yeah. I'll probably include it, but I want to include the best, um, best available one until the last one sells. Um, charger for your 360 batteries sold for £10. Right, we're on to discs 284. So, this is my disc system I've shown you before. Uh, 284, what we're looking for. 
four. There we go. Pull the card out because it's the last game. Put the card there. Bendy and the ink machine. Sold for eleven pounds. I've not got no place to put it. Put them there. Four three five. I also put other small bits other than discs, um, anything that fits in this side of the box. Some camera bits are in here, but not a lot. 435 should be here, and it should be some kind of Nintendo game. It is. Which one is it? It is the Dalmatian and Friends, sold for £5.70. Put it there. Forza 7 in 444. Forza for the fours. There it is. Not the last game, so it can stay there. Four to seven. So for twelve pounds. Oh, some retro. Four nine nine. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Crash Bandicoot. There we go. Sold for eighteen pounds. And five one five. Another Forza. It's a Forza kind of day. And it's not there because let me go get this is what my girlfriend listed last weekend. Um last Friday even. Oh look at all them. All that fun. Um but 515 is what we're looking for. There we go, take that straight out. Four to five. Sold for seven pounds. Right, so if that's not formatted correctly, two seven three. Down here, two seven three. I can see if that should be the one. Let's double check. Yep. Yeah. WWE 2011 sold for £5.60. And we got some consoles. A boxed PS2. In a special weird case. Where is it? There it is. Ugh. Funky cases get more money. Like this one. It's rare, it's not super rare I don't think, but it's still demands more money than the original one. Sold for £90. Oh, that's heavy. Got a PS3 console, but that is over there because I've not packed up yet. But that sold for £63. And that's all we've done today. This is a dish repair job waiting for the disc to come. That is all. Let's go get them packed. Icy Ho. Shall we get started? Big stuff down there. Small stuff down there, so I've got a bit of space. But first, let's check before I forget. Have we got any combined orders today? As always, checking. It's always fun to check. Uh, wait for that icon on the review purchase to go blue. That means all the orders are into this software. Do, 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 do. And it's blue. So let's have a check. Ooh, we got one. Let's find out what it is. Uh, it's our lovely friend Andy uh, with his two game bundles. Um, move it the way so it hides the dresses. Love the channel. Amazing what to see you built. Keep it up. Much appreciated, Andy. Right. Let's find those games. Oh, they're all, all together. Pull those out of the stack so I know they're in a separate order. Ooh. Put them over here. Just so they're separate and I don't mess it up. Stay still. Get that straight. Let's get packing. Um, it is currently 10.09. Ooh, how long should we take to pack it all? Got those big things before 12? Let's try to do it. Let's go. Oakley Doakley. Um, it's now 12.05 and I've still got these to pack so I kind of failed at 12 o'clock. But I blame my computer for the last 20 minutes been extremely slow and I've given up and I think it might be because it's low battery so put it on charge, go for some lunch. Have some Royal Mail, I just saw with those little clips. Um, what was it? Where is my... There it is. Oh yeah, and that needs to go, that's international post, which I need to do from my personal account. So that's sat there, waiting to be done. So, 41, one messed up, I put it in the wrong category, but it doesn't matter. 
41 large letters, 18 parcels. I'll whack up the price how much that went for. Two bags. Rumble Lady will come afterwards to pick those up. So, yeah. Much, much, much later. Right. Back from my lunch. Did the parcels. Forgot to show you. I think I'm just going to crack on now with my picture for the day. So, obviously, I've got to put discs back in those three game boxes and then I've got to sort out all these. Oh, it's going to take me up probably quite a while, but got. How long have I got? An hour before daughter finishes school. And then I'm going to probably, well, when she's back, start trying to clear this up because it's a mess and phew, it's been too long and it needs sorting. Also got all my car boot stuff over there, but I don't really want to show it when I've not really shown to any light go away. Um, any um, footage of the car boot and I just feel like I'm just dragging on, oh, this is this, this is this. Kind of did the whole video, but... I don't know. It's, it's more informative when you pick in because it's a definitive sold price instead of what I bought it for and uh, estimation, I feel. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know my girlfriend does because she says she likes these type of videos. Um, but, yeah. Goodbye. See you later.